Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I'll be demonstrating our new UI builder in Export Kit version 127. So what we're going to do is just start with a blank canvas. Now, new in 127, our UI builder will allow you basically to create and edit individual Photoshop elements directly in your actual PSD file. So for instance, if we were to look at our bootstrap, we can choose between a variety of different elements and this is dependent on the actual categories that we choose and then the actual element itself. So for instance, if we were to add this to the document, what would happen, and we just want to make sure that auto select is off, is we can now actually drag and drop this element, plus we also get the actual individual layer, so we can now edit each individual section. So for instance, uh, let's say instead of drop down header, uh, my header. So you see that you actually get your full Photoshop elements with our UI builder. Now, the next step that we're going to look at is actually creating our own UI. And this is a very simple process. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually uh, keep this open, but I'm going to open another document as well. Now, if we take a look at one of our other files, this is our Android template. What this will allow you to do is basically create an Android design from this actual template. Now, let's assume we want to reuse these elements in future designs. If you're familiar with Keep PSD Assets, and this is located um, in our Exports panel, you'll note it here at the bottom. What this will do is it will actually create and generate a PSD based on each of your folders. Now, new with our UI Elements export, let's actually tab back to the Exports panel. With UI elements, you'll see that there are no further options that you need to denote. What it will do is actually generate all your UI scripts that are required uh, to basically generate your own personalized UI elements. And let's take a look at these a little bit. Our actual UI elements themselves, if you take a look at your user folder, your username, export kit, FTML data, and you'll see that there are two main folders. We covered web templates in a previous tutorial. This is our scripting. If you go into our UI elements and you've actually downloaded the default set, export kit will ask you to do this, you'll see that we have Bootstrap 3, Wired, and WordPress. Now, these are actually reflective of the UI libraries that we have here. The categories that are built into the UI uh, libraries and also their individual elements are all based on your folder and file structure in your actual uh UI elements folder. Go figure. So let, let's take a look at Bootstrap. For Bootstrap, you'll see that within it, we actually have one individual PNG. This is our, our source PNG. This will just give the preview. So if we were to actually select a different one, you'll see that this is our preview. Go back to the folder. What we have are individual folders, and these will be reflective of the categories. We'll take a look at that really quickly. But within each, what we have is a individual PNG, again, reflective of a Photoshop document. Now, if we take a look at each of the folders, let's go back to one that we've added. So we added the list header. You'll see that we actually have the individual Photoshop file for that. What Export Kit does is it will allow you to actually create your own Photoshop files that you place and now reuse in any one of your projects that you require. Now, we're going to actually talk about creating our own. Based on the structure that we've given here, you can see that all you really need to do is to encompass your own preview and then actually separate your individual elements for your categories. Now, you could do this on your own and Export Kit will pick this up, but of course we allow you to do it on the fly with our UI elements output. So if you tap back to the exports and you go to the UI elements, the only requirement that you really need to do is basically separate your content into as many folders as possible. Export Kit will generate the PSDs based on the folders. So for instance, within our main screen, let's say we wanted this to be, uh, let's call it main body. We could actually separate this a bit more and possibly take this out. Let's call this logo. Now what Export Kit will do is generate PSDs based on these folders themselves. So let's say that this is the default background. Now you'll note that we do have some pages. This is from our actual design. What Export Kit will do is it will allow you as much as possible to reuse your current design and turn that into its own UI elements. What it will do with the pages is convert each of the pages into actual layouts that are used in the output. And we'll take a look at this when it's complete. So if we go to a few other folders, and I'm just going to speed up this process uh, through the magic of video. Now, if we take a look at our layer structure, you'll see that we do have many folders now encompassed within our individual pages. This will be required to create each PSD in the output, and you'll see that we have a few here listed. You can create as many folders as you want. There's no limit. Export Kit will now convert these directly to PSD files. So let's go ahead and export this. 
Once the export is complete and we take a look at the output, you'll see that we have a new UI folder. Inside we'll get basically the name of our Photoshop document, so you'll see EK1271, well, 1101 Android Res. That became the actual folder name. But within, we do have all of our individual setups now required to create our UI elements. Now we could drag this directly over, uh, basically to our FTML data within the folder, and it would work directly. But we just want to clean it up slightly. You don't have to do this. Um, it's completely dependent on your actual PSD name. Because of our samples, we name our PSDs uh, directly and very unique. So all I want to do is basically remove the index and this will just give it a shorter name to reference in export kit. So now it's called Android Res and let's just actually do this to the preview also. Now this is also called Android Res. So the next step that we can do is we can basically just drag this over. Now you could add a space, um, let's actually do that, well no it doesn't matter, it's completely up to you. If you look at Bootstrap the only reference that you would have to do if you had a space is also add a space to the preview. Oh, let's actually do it just to show. So let's call it res. Let's also call this equally. They must be the same names. So the preview image and the folder must reference the exact same name. Now if we go back to export kit, let's just go back over to our tools. You'll notice that it's not enabled so let's just reopen it. switch over to the blank canvas this is just to show that we can actually now reuse these elements directly so if we look you'll see Android res this is the preview image so now you could have created your own individual preview image uh, you could have used the skip tag or created your own graphic it's completely up to you it'll give you a category for every individual section that you did and also give you the previews for that so you'll note that from our, our previous design we separated each segment into individual folders oops I didn't save it <laughs> Oh well, that's one of the problems. If you don't save your document, Export Kit will actually reopen your older document. So this is why you should always save your content. Uh, but either way, we have the output that we're looking for. So this is all the individual elements from our output. So you'll see here, these are all the layouts. Now from our pages, uh, if you remember, I did say that it would create a layout for each page. So that's what it did. And we have our shapes. our custom styles. Now if we go back and we take a look at the FTML data once more you'll see that it has all our individual categories segmented as well as all the elements within. So now as long as you save your Photoshop document or even give it a brand new name call it uh, UI elements basically you can now create your own customized UI that you can now take and reuse in any document. So let's go ahead let's add this. Now we can actually reuse this segment. Let's add one of the other elements, shapes. Now we can reuse this segment. So this will work with any PSD file that you have. Go nuts. Now you can basically build any type of design with either one of our UIs or create one of your own UIs on the fly.